Alright guys, welcome back to another video, it's your brother from another mother, the crazy gamer man. We back at it again with another video, One Punch Man World. We did not upload any video from this game yesterday because we were grinding our butts off, man. This game has so many things to do, man. First of all, before we continue anything, I just want to get this out of the way. And show you guys that I am absolutely free. 99. I'm free to play. Currently at level 46. Going to level 50. It's been a grind, man. It's been a grind. And missing one TT car to get our first SSR, which is that shiny thing in the middle right there. In between Puri Puri and uh, Silver Fang. Metal Knight. I pulled. His SSR on my second pity, so he's going to be my SSR hands down. I'm going to go based on that because I don't have the other two guys' SSRs, and I think he will be a good acquisition to my team. So, Metal Knight, you're coming home soon with me. Just got to do one more TTT card, and your boy is coming home with me. All right, guys, let's get to the bottom of the video, man. I don't know how many people started this game since release. I don't know how many people play the the beta test. I'm, I'm pretty sure there was a lot of, of content creator who got that. They paid the the beta test and they were they had access first than all of us. So they were you know they got to play the game. They got to to see the mechanics and all the aspect of this awesome game. But from from us who started from day one. Like myself, I started the thirty, the thirty-first of January. I did the pre-registration. We got those gifts that they were giving us for the registration, and man, this game has a lot of people playing it. This game, I, it's gonna last. Believe me, it's gonna last. We're free to play, but as you go along, you make mistakes. Like everything, like everything else in life, you make mistakes and you learn from them. First mistake that I don't think you guys should make is don't reroll man that's no need for that i'm gonna tell you why right here you guys want to reroll to get to get your first ssr guarantee because you want the certain character don't waste your time first of all this game has a pity system meaning after 60 pulls you will get a guaranteed ssr you already get ganos for free the first one you already got two ssr in your team so what is the need of you going, what is the need of re-rolling? For what? I think that's always been dumb, in my opinion. That is a stupid, uh, the stupid thing that people do. I, I really don't like it. You know, like, like I know people re-roll to get better characters, but in this game in particular, don't re-roll. There's no need for that. We're actually almost on our third PD right here. I think we might get an SSR. I mean, or we might get, I don't know. But just don't reroll. Just keep it going. I'll show you right now. Draw exchange. Let me see. Let me show you guys detail. Draw record. Come on. There you go. You see, we just got. We got our second. You see, no time. No, no time for chit chat. That is the SSR impression. Arms that we got from Metal Knight. That was our second pity. Uh, our first pity was. We're gonna go back. Man, I can't even see it no more. <laughs> can't even see it. But of course, it was Blizzard, man. Hellish Blizzard. Because I've been doing so many, so many summons. But we're, we're currently going to go to our third one. So, quick tip here. When you see this yellow, that means you hit SSR. From there, you start counting to the other. Uh, pity. Like 60 more. That's going to be your pity. If, 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 
it renews every time you hit 60 is you're gonna have to count again into 60 and then you get another ssr car you get an, an i mean sorry a character or an, or an impression arms or whatever it is or maybe you don't get nothing because this pity pity could be 50 50 it's crazy guys but it still guarantees you something i, I mean at least you know for me it guaranteed me this an ssr so that now that we got that out of the way don't re-roll please don't do that Another thing that you guys don't waste your stamina early in the game. There's no need for that. I didn't do it though. There's no need for that. You're going to hit level 26 is when you're really going to have to start grinding to level up and doing the commissions. And that's when you're really going to have to spend your stamina. Right now, we, we, we're, we're low on stamina, actually. That's when you are going to really, really need to spend that stamina. So don't use it early in the game. Level 26 and beyond. That's when you're going to start using all your stamina. And believe me, you will remember me. Another mistake, guys. We're going to go to the characters right here. This is These are my characters. And we're going to go to the memory and wills. Do not. And I mean, do not quit all. Because the system will just throw you randomly stuff. That doesn't even go with your character. You know what I'm saying? Like, for example, Ganos here is an overpowered type character. Some of this memory chips right here, some, you know, you, 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 you tried it, you try to get the most out of this character. You know what I'm saying? You look at each and everything, uh, overpower. You see? Uh, attack 107. That's perfect for a character because Genos is an overpowered type character. Always, guys, pick them yourselves. The same thing for the will. Do not go and pick a quit all because this game is going to give you the shittiest laid out. So don't do that. I did it. <laughs> they no wonder why my power level was low. Like, I'm getting the most out of him now. Of course, we still got to reach tier 9. We're, we're, we're almost done with that. But it makes a difference. I'm going to go right here and show you a quick example. Uh, let me get this guy. For example, you press this, they put you a random stuff. You see, you see what I mean? Look, 858 power points. I'm going to click on this one. Watch. Okay, this is level 8. You see, there's a difference. Attack is 215, attack is 260. Watch. You see? It goes up. 869, and you go to the next one. I know some of these guys are using... Let me go with this... Right here, you see it's going up, 899. You go to this side right here. Maybe we could find something better for this car. Let me see. What do we got? No, I will actually make it go down. Always find something higher. Yeah, the other ones are being occupied by other characters. So, for example, that's low. HP, no. You see, you always look at every stat. Believe me, it will make a difference when you look at every stack and look at the character's type, like this is Assault. On all those memories, just look memory by me your highest memory. For example, mines are 8. So you look for Assault. You know what I'm saying? Look at that. Assault, assault Attack. That will help him. But I'm currently using that with another character. You know what I'm saying? There's another character using that. But well, since I'm not using him, so I'll just give you an example. But if you match the memory chip with the character's type, it's going to make a difference. Believe me, it's going to make a difference. I was just, when I started playing this game, I was just going, I right, quit all, let's go fight out there. It does not work like that. Because sometimes you're going you're gonna to need, you're going to need, like, you're really going to need to, how you say it? You really gonna need, you really gonna need to look at your stats because at the beginning it's easy. At the beginning it's just it's simple. The beginning is oh I go in there and I do my thing. It really is. I show you a quick example here of something else I want to mention in this video. All right, come on. What is this? Okay, I'm gonna fight this guy. Fish of Darkness. His current power level is 1200. We should be good. But what I want to show you is 
this right here. Every time you go into a battle, make sure you got some food. Do we have? Yes, we do. You see the difference? I'm going to take it out. We're currently at 12,000 or 1,200. When I put this auto add, we're at 13K. Big difference. You have a better chance of winning this commission. And of course, don't go auto. If you don't think that your character is strong enough, don't go out and do it manually. But this is, I'm showing you this because we're going to win this fight. I've done this fight a thousand times. My characters will beat this character. But having having the HP food, having the, the defense food and the attack food is going to make a difference, guys. It's going to make a huge difference, man. I used to fight these commissions with nothing. Like, I, I didn't know. You know, I, I'm... It's been eight days since I'm playing this already, non-stop, by the way. <laughs> that's where I'm currently at level 46, going to level 50, but that's, we're not talking about that now. But, equip food, man. There's food all over the cities. We are currently unlocked all cities. A, C, I think, uh, what is the other one? F, we'll, we'll check it after this fight. Every city has a shop. Where is, a, where is a supermarket, where is a ramen shop, whatever. There's venting machines. Venting machines, I think, they actually have the defense. I'm not sure. The supermarkets have the HP and the attack. I think they're around either the ramen shop or just look around. Venting machines. Any Anywhere they sell food. There's a lot of food in this city, believe me. In any other city, there's a lot of food. Always equip food when you're gonna fight on commissions or or biography quests or anywhere that you don't feel that you could get the best out of your character with equipping, of course, the right memberships and the right. Sorry about that. I had to stop the microphone for a second because there was noise. So I'm back. Yeah, man. The like I was saying, the food is around the city. The memory chips, equipping the right ones will make a difference. The, of course, the higher the rank of the memory chip, the better. But just make sure that you're getting the most out of that memory chip. Because believe me guys, they do make a difference. They do make a difference big time. Any fight. I, I, was, I, was just, I was just going to, when I started playing this game, I was like, any fight, auto, no food at all. I was just fighting. Fighting, fighting, fighting into a... I got defeated, eventually, and I was like, wait, wait, wait a minute. Something needs to change. You know what I'm saying? Something needs to change. So, that's when I decided to go memory by memory and checking my character's type and all the advantage that I could take from all those stats. And they do make difference. Numbers in these games, especially in fights, are everything. <laughs> So yeah, guys, I like make sure you you guys checked on that, man. Make sure, guys, make sure, take advantage of we we're especially when you're free to play, like myself, take advantage of everything, man. We're currently we're low on, on uh, on stamina, we're low. What is something else that I would like to talk about? We talked about the the memory chips, we talked about the rerolling, we talked about the food in combat. And yeah, another thing, the quest. The more you level up, the more quests you're going to get. And you need to do some of these quests in order to get more XP or silver, which is absolutely crazy. The currency, you need that. You need currency. So the more quests that you do, we got one of actually we got one available right now. The more quests you guys do, it's going to be better because you're going to need to level up because they made this game with level capped. Meaning that you start off at all the way to level 5, then you got to go to level 10, then level 15, then level 20. It's crazy. <laughs> they level cap. So right now we got to go to level 50 to continue the biography quest, which is this one. Which is rules of for heroes. Objective upgrade team level to 50. Quest reward. Series quest E. P. Rule of heroes. Complete this series of quests to claim the following rewards. You know, you have to do all that. You have to do all that. Do quests. Do not skip anything in the city. Go around. 
I did a lot of exploring yesterday, man. Especially to get those tokens. Man, that, that was a lot of work. I'm not even going to lie, guys. I'll show you right now. To get these tokens, that was a lot of work. Look at that. We completed that. The gear, too. The, the fresh serves. The scientific photos. I even did that. I didn't even know. I picked them up. We did that. But... All these things, guys, collectibles, all of that, you're getting currency out of that. So anything you see on the floor, just picked it up. Anything shiny, that will be a token. Anything in blue, that will be a card, a, a scientific photo. Or we're still missing some of the other stuff. But everything you see on the floor, pick them. But don't just run around the city and looking for fights, man. Pick everything you see, guys. These mistakes were the ones I make. And I'm telling you guys, so you don't have to do them yourself. As new players, maybe some of you guys are ahead of me. And I want to also take this time to give a huge shout out to Pain Blade. Because, to Pain, I don't know why I keep saying Pain Blade. <laughs> to Pain, because he was a big help of me getting some of those TT cards. Man, that was something else. The tokens, I busted my butt going all over the city. But with the TT cards, I really, really, really needed help with that because that was crazy. And I want to give a huge shout out to him. He's amazing content. I enjoy his content. Nothing but respect and blessings to his family. And guys, if you like the video, please smash that like button. Drop a comment. Let me see what you want to see of this game. Let me see what you think of this game. How far are you in the game and all that good stuff. So this was your boy reporting for the asylum with yet another video on One Punch Man World. Peace. One.